JD fam. Welcome back to another video. Today it is a little parents Monday morning out. We went and had some lunch, which we have not been able to just go have lunch, the two of us ever, since we Ooh. had Koa. Bless you. Bless you. Thanks. Right, babe? This is our first time ever since we've had Koa just going to lunch. Just yeah. us. Yeah, we had lunch. Now we're just driving around. We really don't know what to do. I know. But... We went to our favorite place, Honor Bar, which they have one out here. We used to go there like literally all the time back in California. Yeah. We also stopped at this bakery. Let me show you guys. Ooh, they come in a little egg carton, which I guess since it's birdie bakery or bird bakery. Get it? Bird eggs. Get it? Get it? Ooh, okay, I see you biting down on that jaw. That's why you like to chew gum. No, I'm not biting down on no jaw. Uh-huh. These kids want me to buy lemonade from them. Oh, not, we should. I don't have no cash for them. Let's just guess which one's Julia Scott. The basic ones. <laughs> We're in Highland Park and they have like really nice houses. It kind of reminds me of like a Beverly Hills type of area, right? Just like the way the streets are. It is like, it's like It's kind of like crowded too. It's like basically Beverly Hills. Yeah. Basically. We also went to Van Cleef. Van Cleef. <laughs> and Rolex, because you know Father's Day's coming up. Hey, I'm trying to get a And I have a plane. bougie husband. Hey, I have a bust down Rolex right here. No bougie-ness. No, literally no bougie-ness. Destiny got this for me. And this is my favorite thing in the world that she's ever got me. And um, now That's your favorite I, thing ever No not ever but this is like a very memorable gift that she got me But now I want to get like something plain Jane Like I'm a little bit older now I want to get something that's like just, just plain Something plain just something that's still crazy expensive but No plain. but it's, it's a kind of like an investment Because the diamond one obviously loses value But the one that doesn't have diamonds in it And obviously I'm going to get a good Rolex You know it's going to increase in value so right now, Koa is with the nanny, and I actually do want to talk about something because I think since I used the term nanny, people, like I just saw people's comments and they were kind of annoying me. Like, we are with Koa literally always. Like even, even when she is at our house for two days out of the week, we're still there most of the time. We just leave really quick to go run errands, or today we went to go have lunch. But it's more like a babysitter. It's yeah. it's not like we just have a nanny raising our son. No, but she so is a nanny, though. No, no. no, she is a nanny. Like, yeah. I definitely respect she, her. Yeah, I gotta rephrase but, that because you, you can't, you know, babysitter no, is cool. No, I'm saying it just in terms of, like, time. Yeah, Like, it's time. not like we have a nanny that's, like, raising our kid. Yeah, she is a nanny. She's, like, super professional. She even helps me with cleaning the house, cooking, not only for Koa, but for us, too. So yeah. she's, like... A huge help I'm so grateful to have her yeah. um, but I just did want to clear that up I don't want every people to think that like I'm just having somebody raise our kid like yeah. we're not no, raising definitely him. like but I just had to clear that up too because you know like <laughs> she's very like super big help for us right now and like she's really about to become part of our family you know like we like her so much and you know we plan on keeping her long term obviously we plan on having more kids and growing our family and for me, I like a longevity type relationship and I just, you know, I don't want it to be just, oh, just babysitting, da, 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 no type of relationship. I want her to have the same type of love towards my son, you know? Oh, that's a nice house. Almost as beautiful as you, but not quite. Okay, dude. Speaking game on me, then. <laughs> did I speak game on you when we first met? No. Yes, I, I did. Speak game on you. you didn't spit no game. I made you laugh and smile every single time. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember. Do you remember the first kiss? It's easy to make you laugh. Do you remember our first kiss? Yeah. What? When I kissed you. When I told wow. you to give me you a kiss. You don't remember? I said, why are you not going to give me a kiss? When? Damn! <laughs> I only ate one! And I just took a bite of that one. This is the only you one I ate. You scarfed them? I only ate one. Here, try this one. I only I'm took not, one I'm one. eating the red dev. This park right here. I heard it is a crazy park. You want to go? Why so, is it crazy? Swear. Oh. Are you serious? That ass is no. Okay. You're taking your cupcake to go? Only one. Am I going to need one to get me through the walk? Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. It's wilderness down here. This what you call, yeah. This is what you call the tunnel of doom. <laughs> hey, don't say that. It's scary. It's hella rat rats. I bet you I can sing really good in here. Sing. What should I sing? Public. Sing it. And I.
All right, y'all, so I'm by my lonely right now. Obviously, you guys can tell I'm at a lake or some type of water. So I'm currently at the lake right now. I wanted to go fishing. So I went to Dick's Sporting Goods. I bought me a nice little fishing pole. I got my setup right here. Ooh. I got a nice little setup right here. About to go fishing, try to catch some fish. I used to fish a lot when I was a young kid. So I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, do some more outdoor activities, get all that stuff back into perfection so I could teach Koa. Destiny and Koa are actually back at the house. They were coming with me and then Koa fell asleep in the car. So we were just like, we don't really know how it's gonna be because it's my first time ever here. So I just ended up taking them back to the crib and I came here by myself. But today we about to catch some fish. So, hey, let's get it. So I'm going back to the crib. Obviously, I didn't catch anything. Didn't even get a bite of anything. But I honestly think that I have the wrong bait. So I need to go to like an actual fishing store and ask them what bait I need. And you know what I'm saying? All that stuff. And where the best fishing spots are and all that. But it was a vibe. I'm not going to lie. Like, I have fun. You know, it's been a while since I've been fishing. So I kind of got to get the hang of things and all that stuff. But it was really fun. I want to take Destiny and Cole because I think that they'll have a lot of fun. Especially if we catch a fish. I know Cole will be tripping. Like, freaking out if he touches a fish. Back at the crib, oh. What are you doing? Babe, tell him what you're doing real quick. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. I bought this, like, ear camera on Amazon. To try to get my earwax out because I feel like there's a big piece of earwax maybe in that's so gross, babe. Nobody no, wants babe, to. I just you don't have to tell them like <laughs> but like basically it's like what? a camera. No, let's show your ear. Nah, we're not gonna show my ear, but like Let it's a camera and Destiny's gonna go crazy up Can in I her ear right now. Ear first? No, we're not looking Please. through my ear. We're not looking through my ear. Okay, I'm gonna do it. What's up, boy? There's a lot in there and my ear's hairy. <laughs> My guy is right here just chilling, having a nice little day. I've been trying to tell his mother that he needs to get his hair done because he is his hair is starting to get so long. Like, look at this, guys. Like, it's time to either braid it, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know, Destiny wants to cut it off, but I'm not really feeling it, babe. Actually, you guys, I am the one who suggested that we braid Koa's hair. I even went out and got all the tools and products so that I can braid it, but I just don't know if he's gonna let me. I'm probably gonna try maybe sometime today, but his hair is actually really hard to manage. It's like super dry and I try to decondition it all the time and like untangle it and style it, but he doesn't wanna sit still for it. Like it's, I have to chase him around the house to do his hair just to put any product in it or anything. Even so. water, like spraying water in his hair, sometimes he does not like. Yeah, it's it's like a hassle every single time. So that's why I really wanted to cut it, not cut it all the way off. Like I still want to keep his curls, but I just want to like cut the sides a bit and the back and maybe just keep the top nice and curly because it'll be easier just to style the top rather than the whole head of hair. But Julius is so against yeah. cutting his hair. I'm not gonna lie, me and Destiny have probably had a lot of disagreements about this topic right here. Even if you've watched our channel since we lived back in California, one time when he was a little bit younger, I tried to cut Koa's hair. I literally even convinced Julius to let me do a little trim on him. You guys go watch the video. You wouldn't believe the trim he let me do. It was like a microscopic, a microscopic. Hey. For guys, like their hairline and their hair, it's very, very big, you know what I'm saying? So. But I'm I, not trying to cut his hairline. No, I know that, but when you get a haircut, I feel like you gotta like, kind of like shape it up a little bit. And I feel like right now, Cole is not at that point where he really needs to, you know what I'm saying? I want him to come out with a crispy haircut. You know what I'm saying? It needs to, you know, you know how it is, baby. Well, know, he's, he's, way, he's way too young to start getting lineups, so I'm not trying yeah. to, like, have him start doing that. But I do want to just cut the back, like, you know, maybe a little fade up here. I don't know, guys. And the sides. Like, help me right. convince him, you guys, because 
I'm the one who has to do his hair. Hey, I'm not going to lie, guys. I don't think anybody's touching my baby's hair yet. He could get braids and stuff, but I'm just kind of like, I want to slow down when it comes to him actually getting the fade and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Why are you so against I don't know. It's, cut, it's, it's just something that, like, I'm not against it. It's just that, like, I got to make sure he's going to get a perfect haircut. You know what I'm saying? Like, he can't. He can't get a cut, and then his lineup be way back. You know what I'm saying? It can't be. <laughs> but like he's that, not getting bro. a lineup. That's no, the but thing. I'm saying though, like it, ha like, babe, you understand? Like, you know what I mean? I, I can't, I can't explain it. It's just something that I think, like, you know, my boy, he got to be fresh. He got to have a fresh cut. I just want to keep the top so that it's easier to do. Maybe we can just trim it a little bit to where it's like not so frizzy. This is actually his hair done. Well, Julius's version of no. it done. No. Yes, you, you did it today. This yeah, but, I, but we didn't really do the lineup or none of that stuff. This was just kind no, of like we didn't, a, No, let's you didn't hurry do up all that, but like when I do his hair, I actually like untangle it and I go piece by piece. It takes me like a good 15 minutes to do his hair. When Julius does it, he doesn't like to put a lot of product. All I know is that his hair is not getting cut so anytime age? soon. I'll give it like another year he can get Another year? Maybe not a year, okay. maybe like another six months where you he can realize, get a line. Maybe when he turns two? We'll see. It's when he turns right two? Now. Maybe. Shake on it. Maybe. When he turns two? Maybe. Ooh. Maybe. Maybe. So we finally used most of our backyard. Got the grass all basically on this half. And then we gotta still finish that side. We put a little fence up over there. That's gonna be the dog's area. We're gonna be cutting all this stuff down. It's gonna be fire in about a couple days. But Coco loves it. He just be running. He love the backyard, huh, Bubba's? Woo! Get it, get it, get it. Yep, throw it. Let's it's see you throw it. Yay! Hey, good good job. One, two, three. Oh, oh. Uh oh, you gotta put your hands up. Hey. That's okay, try again. Hey, come back, come back. You gonna give it to yeah, mama? Yeah, mama, okay, one, one, two, three. Oh, so close. Almost, Bubba, can I have it? He likes to one hand catch There you it. go. Oh, mama will tackle you, mama will tackle you. Okay, you guys, I'm going to attempt to do some of these braids. Let's see if he lets me or how far I get. I had to distract him with Cheetos, <laughs> so Cheetos and Miss Rachel it is. parts of being a parent like just deciding on what's right and what's wrong for your son and, or your daughter if you have a daughter but <laughs> it's just super hard we don't know what type of hairstyle we should do on him but i really think that if we get a professional to braid his hair it'll look really good or if he just gets He's a nice little taper in the chair for i think if he gets like a taper like me he'll like it'll look really good so we have to come to an agreement but we ain't gonna be able to do that today. But we're about to enjoy the rest of tonight, so we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We will see you guys in our next video. Peace.